Hello friends, I am Saurav. Let's have a look at another interesting problem today which is how to count frequencies of array elements in range 1 to n. So the problem statement is given an array of length n having integers 1 to n with some elements being repeated we have to count frequencies of all elements from 1 to n. Let's take one example to understand the problem. Consider the following input array. Array consists of elements 2, 3, 3, 2, 5. Expected output of the program should look like following. Since element 1 is not present in the input array, print 1, 0. Now since element 2 is present 2 times in the input array, print 2, 2. Similar is the case for element 3. Since 4 is not present in the array, print 4, 0. Finally, since element 5 has one occurrence in the input array, print 5, 1. Let's discuss the first algorithm to solve this problem. This is naive approach, so we will skim through it quickly. Find frequency of elements 1 to n, 1 by 1, using two loops. Outer loop runs from i equal to 1 to n. Inner loop calculates the count of i in the input array. Print the count of i when inner loop ends. Time complexity of this algorithm is order of n square and space complexity is order of 1. Let us discuss the second algorithm to solve this problem. This is better approach than the previous algorithm. This is again a simple algorithm, so we will skim through it quickly. In this algorithm, we traverse over the input array once and store count of each element traversed in count array. So first step is to create a count array of size n with all elements from index i equal to 0 to n minus 1 initialized to 0. Here count of i denotes count of i plus 1. Next step is to traverse the array once for i equal to 0 to n minus 1 increment count of input i minus 1 by 1 and finally we traverse count array and print count array. Time and space complexity of this algorithm is order of n. Now let's have a look at the optimized algorithm to solve this problem. These steps will be explained in detail with an example in subsequent slides. Do not worry if you do not get it right away. So first step is to reduce all elements by 1 so that the elements are converted in the range of 0 to n minus 1. In second step, one by one we process each element of the array. Whenever we process current element, we increment count of current element found till now by adding n to element at index input i mod n. So for i equal to 0 to n minus 1, add n to element at index input i mod n. After all the elements are completed, element at index i will be incremented by n into k, where k is the number of times i occurs in the array. I hope this is clear. Finally, we print counts of elements and simultaneously convert the array back to original array. So print count of i plus 1 as input i by n. Reason for this is element at index i will be equal to input i plus n into k where k is the number of times i occurs in the array. This is explained in the previous step. On dividing by n we get k which is the number of times i occurs in the array. Since Initially all elements were reduced by 1, so this is count of i plus 1. I hope this is clear. Finally we set input i as input i mod n plus 1. Because in the first step we reduced all elements by 1. That is why we are incrementing each element by 1 here. Let's take one example to visualize the algorithm. You can visualize the algorithm exactly same as here on our web portal as well. Which is www.idesop.co.in it is highly recommended to do so as this will help you immensely to visualize the algorithm. Let's start with the visualization. So first step is to reduce all elements by 1. Let's do that. Okay. Let's move on to next step. In second step, one by one we process each element of the array. Whenever we process current element, we increment count of current element found till now by adding n to element at index input i mod n. Before moving on with the iterations in step 2, let's quickly recap. So how do we store the count of element a? Go to the index a and store the count there. Since here we are modifying the input array, how would we know which element was present there before the modification? For this reason, we add n which is greater than all elements present in the array. So for each occurrence of an element a, we add n to element at index a. To get back the element originally present at the current position, just do a mod by n. Let's start with the iteration. Current element is 1. So we go to the index 1 and store the count by adding n to it. 
so add 5 to array of 1 so it becomes 7 now current element is 7 so we go to index 7 mod n and store the count by adding n to it so we add 5 to array of 2 it becomes 7 now we are at third element and the element is again 7 so we go to index 7 mod n and store the count by adding n to it so we add 5 to array of 2 and it becomes 12 now current element is 1 so we go to index 1 mod 5 and store the count by adding n to it which is 5 so we add 5 to array of 1 it becomes 12 finally for the current element 4 we add 5 to 4 mod 5 which is array of 4 it becomes 9 we are finally done with the step 2 now in step 3 we print counts of elements and simultaneously convert the array back to original array so let's start iterating over the array again for i equal to 0 first print count of i plus 1 as input i by n which is 1 by 5 which is 0 so 1 0 is printed now set input i to input i mod n plus 1 which is 1 mod 5 plus 1 which is 2 so element at current index becomes 2 now for i equal to 1 we first print count of i plus 1 as input i by n which is 12 by 5 which is 2 so 2 2 is printed then we set input i to input i mod n plus 1 so element at current index becomes 3 now for i equal to 2 first we print count of i plus 1 as input i by n which is 12 by 5 which is 2 so 3 2 is printed then we set input i to input i mod n plus 1 so element at current index becomes 3 we will perform same operations to remaining two elements we are done printing count of frequencies of all elements from 1 to n and the array is converted back to the original input array time complexity of the algorithm is order of n and space complexity order of 1 have you checked our ideserve web portal at www.ideserve.co.in we are uploading new topics every day please check it out and leave us your feedback please let us know your valuable suggestion on current topic if you liked our video please subscribe to our ideserve channel like the video and share it with your friends thank you